Good morning, folks. Over the last day, we saw a number of solar eruptions leave our star just behind the western limb after having departed the Earth-facing disk. Much of the plasma fell back down to the sun, but one aspect of the far side destabilization did release a CME visible here on SOHO LASCO coronagraphs. We still have the northern sunspots and southern filament on the right departing, but new spots incoming from the left side as well with a small filament ahead of the northern grouping and a large filament now towering over the northeastern limb. Let's begin closer analysis of the Earth-facing features at spaceweathernews.com and 193 angstroms of light, bright sunspot fields, and thin dark plasma filaments. The southwestern filament, that's bottom right, has been in focus for days as it interacted with nearby sunspots. It is now showing signs of destabilization, and we're going to need to be eyes open there for sure today. Alas, until then, the Earth-facing quiet continues to dominate. The minuscule X-ray events are all at the incoming limb as the spots that have faced Earth learn their role and shut their mouths. And this is especially impressive since those are the bigger ones on the disk with more umbras within the group. Magnetically spread, however, and perhaps that incoming group is not as complex as it appeared at the limb either. A note on yesterday's apparent level 4 storm event. Turns out that Karuna was having major glitches, and none of those were real readings. The solar wind continued to calm throughout the day as speed decreased, and Earth's magnetic field is A-OK -okay this morning. We saw what Jonas did to the United States. We've discussed record cold in northern Europe, but the worst cold weather story of the year so far is actually in the Far East, where record cold temperatures have hit from Taiwan Vietnam, Laos, Japan, and China, including as low as the negative 50 degree range. 95 people have died of hypothermia and cardiac arrest due to the cold. Top articles of the day begin with one on sunspot magnetic fields. In addition to continuing to look like earthly storms, we now understand inclination patterns in the fields residing in the umbra versus penumbra and how those change throughout the photosphere and chromosphere. There's also a terrific animation out of Goddard's SVS showing the solar polar fields, coronal and umbral fields, and lower latitude IMF as the solar poles flip during the last four years. Yale's regular environment report is out, and we're actually not doing too bad on a lot of fronts, but not air pollution, and especially not protecting fisheries and associated resources. Situation getting much worse there. Reminder, Website members, you've got two deeper looks from 2015 on the Earth-facing solar quiet, and we discuss it on Fly on the Wall all the time, so there's a ton to catch up with there. We also posted Episode 8 of 2016's Deeper Looks yesterday. Usoskin illuminates another integral space weather influence on our atmosphere. As I head to Phoenix tomorrow and our conference takes place this weekend, please note that due to switching time zones, there may be a 30-minute to 1-hour delay in news posting until February 6th, but the news is indeed going to come out as always. Now where's my sword? We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.